all of us know Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and other neurodegenerative diseases are diseases of aging because people now live longer. Life expectancy has increased in the past 100 years from 49 years old till 72 at the end of the 20th century. And this happens not only in developed countries, but also in China and in India. So Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, it's an epidemic. Our research is focused on deciphering the causes of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease at the molecular level, it means at the cell level, to understand what are the mechanisms that causes the disease. In general, neurodegenerative diseases share features that are common, for example, a state of oxidative stress rusting the brain. Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, they differ, of course they differ, because they attack different sites in the brain. If we talk about Parkinson's disease, there is a special area which is affected, which is called the substantia nigra. But in Alzheimer's, the cortex is more affected. We don't know why these specific cells are damaged in one disease. If we could understand the process that initiate the disease, then we can have better strategies to attack them and to treat them. Rasagiling or Azilet were initiated in our laboratories it was a collaboration of Professor Udim and Professor Finber, both from the pharmacology department, and then conducted long studies with Rasagiling, and then it was approved also by, by the FDA two years ago. It appears not only to treat the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, but also to stop or slow down the process of degeneration. It means that it can change the course of the disease. It's more commonly known as a drug that has a disease-modifying activity. Based on our previous results in, in laboratory studies, we are taking now the part of the molecule of rasagilin and put into another molecule and try to produce a new drug which can address several sites in the brain. So by having this new molecule, you can attack several brain targets at the same time with a single drug. So this will be the future in our laboratories for trying to develop new strategies for treating Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. So we think that uh, we might be in the right way.